Testament's most common string is 2k, 2d, 2, 3, 6s. On block, it pushes them back quite a bit into the range Testament excels at, and on hit, it forces them to block crow, putting them into their win condition. 2k, 2d is a natural frame trap. If they get counter hit by 2d, you get a nice confirm into a safe jump. 2d into 2, 3, 6, s uncharged is a true block string. However, sending crow after they block is not guaranteed, and depending on the character, they may be able to counter hit you, though this leaves them open to counter pokes. Far slash into 2, 3, 6, s is not a true block string, and when spaced, it can be jumped out of. However, you can always throw out a jab to stop their IED approaches. If they try to jump over the fireball, you can also 6p for further horizontal range, and if they're close enough, they'll just get hit for jumping. If you know they jump after far slash, then 2, 3, 6, h is not a bad option. Testament 2H is very slow, leaving you vulnerable when using it from other normals, but now vacuums them in and is minus 2, so if you are spaced, it is worth trying, especially if they are more defensive. It being minus 2 makes it a stagger point, even though you are minus, if you pull them into throw range, you can beat out their button mashes, and you have multiple cancel options to either true string or frame trap to stay safe after it. Though, if you do pull them into throw range, that means you can also be throw punished, so keep that in mind when enforcing frame traps. 2 3 6 h being a true string plus move while also a potential frame trap launcher makes mashing after 2h very scary for the opponent. After 2 3 6 h you can counter poke with 5k, far slash, or 6h since 6h doesn't have an extended hurtbox until later into the startup unlike far slash and 5k. You can even do 2h since it has low recovery and a large disjoint. The reward on frame trap 2 3 6 h is pretty nice and since it's practically risk free and puts you in a range you like so it's not a bad way to end your turn. After 2 h you can reset your turn with 5k dash care 2 3 6 h since it'll leave you plus and close on top of being a combo starter. 2 h into dash throw also beats dps so having frame trap versus restart string versus throw is a nice stagger point. But like I said you can always just end your turn safely with 2 3 6 s or 2 3 6 h and play neutral again. Dash care 236H is a strong option for Testament. It allows for an advancing plus sequence that is also a combo starter. From 5k, dash care 236H is a frame trap. From close slash, dash care 236H is a true block string and with dash momentum beforehand can catch jump afterwards with 2k. Doing close slash dash care slight charge 236H makes it a frame trap and more plus. Using plus frames to enforce their respect allows you to loop plus frames. Uncharged 2 3 6 s is minus 4, so you can't take your turn after it up close. Partial charge 2 3 6 s is plus 3, so you can frame trap afterwards. Fully charged 2 3 6 s is plus 10, so you can true string. Uncharged 2 3 6 h is plus 2, so you can frame trap. Partial charge 2 3 6 h is plus 9, so you can true string. And fully charged 2 3 6 h is plus 16, which is so plus you can frame trap them with a tap dust. Once you have gained respect from doing uncharged fireballs for true string or frame traps, mix in charged fireballs to end your turn. Abusing dash care fireballs in the corner can be really oppressive, forcing them to FD or gamble 6 piece. Doing dash care 2 3 6 h into 2 3 6 h again can catch jumps while overextending. Since they can 6p, if you're still close, after the dash care 2 3 6 h 2k 2 3 6 h is still plus and a launcher, though on block it will leave you further away. A typical block string can be close slash 2s 2h, though 2s only gives any meaningful reward on counter hit followed by 2h. Without a counter hit, it will only combo into 5h without even comboing into the fireball. And without the counter hit, it won't combo into 2h, but at least it sets up a stagger point again. Even from close slash far slash 2 3 6 h you can poke with 5k dash care 2 3 6 h for good reward both on hit and on block, and when spaced out, it's easier to get away with charge 2 3 6 s. Even if they commit to mashing frame 1, it will likely whiff unless it's a big counter poke button, and if they get hit by the fireball, you get a nice combo. Just keep in mind you can't mindlessly throw out far slash after even a charged 2 3 6 s because of 6p. Here's some kind of gimmicky stuff from far slash 2 3 6 s. You can do IEDJH JD 2 3 6 h or IEDJH teleport or IED teleport or IEDJH fake teleport JD. These all kind of expect your opponent to stay still, but it's nice to know what general options you have after far slash fireball. Your best mirrorless mix up is JH JD 2 3 6 h as a double overhead versus JH into 2k. Be careful, if they crouch the JH, the JD will miss, leaving you vulnerable. If they are stained, tap dust and lows are more potent, just make sure you can enforce it since there will be a huge gap between crow and run up tap dust. Since arbiter sign misses up close, if you do close slash far slash 5H, it puts you in the range for the overhead and low. With meter, you can combo and extend your turn, just be careful of mashing, though the fireball should discourage them from it. For corner pressure, it's really strong to be in the tip range of far slash and mixing in fireballs and crows, you can also throw in 6h or 2h to beat 6ps and other options. This is the main sequence you want. 
get them stained, then 5k IED into JHJD versus 2k. However, they can mash between whatever button you choose in Crow, unless you're spaced far. But if you're spaced, then they can mash on the run-up 5k. If you sneak in a charge fireball, then it makes it easier to get the Crow on them. If you condition that you do Crow after 5k, doing 5k dash care 236h as a frame trap is very strong. Just doing 236s into 5k Crow pushes you out of 5k range. But if you do 5k dash care a crow, you stay in range, and since the frame trap and crow both have the dash care effect, your opponent won't be able to tell which is happening ahead of time. If you really want to stay close, doing close slash dash care to the success into 5k dash care a crow will leave you very close. Dash cares let you extend pressure for a long time if they don't have D, and forces them to choose more committal escape options rather than their quick pokes. If they are more defensive and are FD, you can dash more to stay in or choose to give up the space and put yourself in your best range focusing on keeping them in the corner. Here's another corner sequence. Using space charge fireballs to force respect and space 6H to catch jumps in 6Ps, then crow to stay plus making far slash better. And popping stain with far slash guarantees a true block string with charge as fireball. Testament is great at forcing respect and maintaining plus frames in the corner. From 2k 2d 2d success, you can fast RC crow into dash 5k, then do the double overhead of jhjd versus jh low versus jh throw. You can also use fast RC to make crow into 5k frame trap. Getting the RC into crow to be true string can be easier if you don't fast RC, but this skips up a little meter. You know by now about the jhjd double overhead, but with the fast RC, you can do a triple overhead with another jd or a go low. It basically turns a high low into two high lows back to back. Using RC to fake out one arbiter to the other is gimmicky, but it works a lot. Or you can make the first one connect, and then fast RC into either the same one or the other one. You can do it on Oki or even trigger the stain pop. Off 2k 2d 2d success, you can do fast RC after the first hit into teleport to get a cross up. Doing a RC slightly later will get you same side. If you pop stain state with a button, then immediately do succubus super, you get a high low in the corner. Tesmic can do the backdash fast RC JP overhead, which is very useful, especially because they get meaty projectile Loki in the corner. You can also do this after 236H plus frames if you've gained their respect. Another corner high low Tesmic has is with close slash crow up PRC. It does require a crow to be near them, but it's not too hard to get, and if you time it right, the crow can even beat 3 frame buttons. Mid screen, if you pop stain with a button into Succubus Super, you can do dash jump into air back dash JH, ID FD break low, or jump forward air dash JK cross up. If your opponent is patient and tends to dash block or just block grounded while you do your fireball game, you can cancel the startup of crow into fast PRC teleport to cross them up. Depending on the spacing and timing, it can hit same side as well. Here's the general corner sequence that uses looping stain state mix-ups. However, each time you do crow, it's mashable and there's a gap after the crow, so make sure to mix in frame traps to keep them from pressing. Testament gets good okie from pretty much every knockdown. First off is throw into dash IED JH, which is a safe jump. And the JH hits high enough to let you do a double overhead versus low, which also leads into a safe jump, with dash 2k 236h into IED JH again. From 2k 2d 236h, you have two safe jump setups. First is teleport, then doing falling jh, though it leaves you a bit far away. Or simply dash, then id jh to safe jump. From 2k 2d 236s, you can set up crow that they can't jump away from. From anti air 6p around id height, you can do id jh, but it will not safe jump fast reversals. If they commit to a heavy dp or slower supers, it will be safe. From stained far slash, you can do dash up 2s 2h 236h into id jh safe jump. From stained 6p, just run up 2s into 236h for the safe jump. From stained arbiter hit, you can run up OTG with 236s, then either crow, IED, or set up another fireball. A different kind of setup you can do from stain is to pop with 5k, then jump cancel fully charge J236h. In the corner, if you're slightly spaced and do 2h into super, it won't wall break, instead giving you a hard knockdown. You can do fully charged fireball to set up pressure or go straight into a safe jump plus mix with dash IED JH. Popping stain state with 5k lets you do run up close slash into 2 3 6 s. Then, depending on how much you delay the teleport, you can end up in front of or behind them. Doing partial charge on the 2 3 6 s seems to be best, but the timing on the teleport is manual, though it makes it more ambiguous if you don't even know what side you'll be on. After the double overhead, you can OTG with 2h, then delay teleport. Depending on how much you delay it, you'll end up on the left side or right side. Just don't immediately teleport or they will tumble out of the corner. 
This also works mid-screen, but does not work on big bodies, and on some characters, 2S works better as an OTG instead of 2H. For this OTG left-right to work, they either need to be counter-hit by JH or just the JD. If they're hit by the normal JH first, it won't work. In the corner, after 2K 2D, you can do fully charged fireball, then dash up Crow to set up your stain state mix-ups. After throwing the corner, 2-3 success OTGs them, and lets you connect Crow, that leaves you plus enough to stuff mashing and jumps. Post wall break with Succubus Super, you can do dash up Arbiter to get a spaced meaty that is a combo starter. If you don't like Arbiter, you can do run up tap dust versus run up low. Thank you for watching.